Hey YouTube, it's me again with the much anticipated, much long awaited questions for a bald person tag. This has been like three months in the making um, and it's not even a tag, it's just a video idea. But the idea was you guys submitted questions, thank you to everyone who submitted stuff. Uh, I got, uh, I have a couple questions here and basically we're going to answer them for you from two different points of view. I shaved my head willingly, he is bald by nature. So without further ado, I guess we'll kind of start with a brief introduction. Um, I shaved my head in October of 2013, so I've been bald for a few months now. And you started going bald when? When I was about 19. 18? 18, 17? 18, 17. 17. 17. 17. I think the widow's peak started getting deeper at 17 and then... 18 it really was noticeable so I cut it short and I did that like gel thing in the front because I still <laughs> had a little something and then it just kept going back and back and back and I even tried a mohawk and that's when it really became apparent because it wasn't really a mohawk it was like a patch <laughs> and then a line down the back of my head that that was special special. <laughs> it's a special sort of something special. It sounds special. But yeah, a lot of these questions were directed at me, but I figured <clears throat> I'd bring dear hubby on here just to offer kind of a different perspective. Um, and some of these questions he could probably answer better than I can. So let's see. Uh, first question that I got submitted came from a guy named Justin, um, ironically. And he says, how long do you plan on keeping the do? Uh, well, for me, I... I'm not sure, like originally I was just planning on, like one of my family members is fighting cancer, and originally I was gonna keep the do until she finished treatment, but she's finished treatment, and I realized that after I, uh, yeah, her first round of treatment anyway, but um, she finished it, and she's doing really well by the way, thank you to everybody who's been asking about her, um, but yeah, I, I mean, you know, she finished treatment and she's now growing her hair back, but I don't know, after I shaved it the first time, I really liked how it looked and it's been really easy to, you know, keep up with and maintain. And there's just like the benefits far outweigh the drawbacks for me. So I'm planning on keeping it for a while, basically until I get bored with it or I get too lazy to shave my head over and over and over again. So um, honestly, I'm planning on keeping it for a, at least a little while longer. Um, we'll see what the next few months bring. I might grow my hair back out, I might not. I don't know, wearing wigs is fun. How about you, babe? How long do you plan on keeping your hair that way? <laughs> I don't know, I, well, I mean, I don't really have much of a choice. Uh, my, my profession has standard haircut requirements, so I, the only thing I can grow hair is on the sides of my head, and that's what I have to keep short, so I'm kind of... <laughs> Limited in that regard. A little bit. Um, I did. I did go on online at one point, and I tried to quote out how much it would cost to get the the. Hair they, plugs. Well, it's not plugs. Well, I guess I don't know. It's like a they, hair transplant. They or something. Re relocate like your neck beard, and <laughs> they thin out the sides and they stick it up here. Mm -hmm. But according to the calculator, like I use a couple different calculators, and based on some of the ads that I've seen, I use that as a price reference, and I'm, I'd be looking at like a brand new car just Ooh. to shift my hair. So, so. expensive. Uh, that's yeah, screw that. I, I like you better bald. It's it's not, <laughs> I don't know, it's not, it's like, I I used to just buzz it down like like what you do, you just kind of buzz it down, you don't pick. Yeah. And then um, I had to, to leave the country for a while and it was just easier instead of trying to find like somebody to, to like a pair of clippers or whatever, I just took a razor and just started cutting it down and, it, That's another difference between yeah. the two of us. I just take a pair of clippers like you guys saw in the how to shave your head video and I just buzz my hair. Um, he actually takes a wet razor to it and you know like full on shaves it. Which brings me to my next question. Did you try a wet shave yet? No. I haven't tried um, wet shaving yet. I don't really know why I haven't tried it. It's just been more laziness than anything else. Like, it's, it's hard enough to get me to shave my legs on a regular basis, but taking a razor to my head is just, it's a lot of work, and I just haven't really gotten around to actually trying it. I do want to try it eventually, but we'll see. Uh, if I get bored enough in the shower one day, I'll just kind of bake it. I'd have to go, I mean, it, I wouldn't have to go as long between haircuts that way. Um, or I'd go longer between haircuts, I guess. 
Well, it depends. If you if you want to keep it, because like I get lazy really quick, um, and even now, like I don't know if you can see, I got a little like something, but my face grows faster than my head, uh, <laughs> and my chest is even worse. Just oh. say no. But it's like um, he's wearing a sweater. No I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not that bad. No. Nah, I'm I'm not like like. I was about to say William Shatner. No, Robin Williams. <laughs> Robin Williams. <laughs> I'm not. That dude got some hair. <laughs> but uh, no, like it, the one thing once you start once you start shaving like with a razor, you pretty much got to keep up with it because otherwise you're just sitting there for like eh. And then you run your hand back and you're like oh missed eh. <laughs> Yeah. And yeah. it's hard enough for me yeah. to use a pair of clippers without missing a spot, so I feel like having a razor would take forever and a day. But yeah, I mean, eventually I might try it out. All right, so uh, next question. Were you able to raise money to shave your head or did you just do it for the awareness? I was not able to raise money um, from shaving my head and that's because the event I uh, organized surrounding the head shaving was with a military childcare organization and they are legally not allowed to do fundraisers. Um, it sucks, but yeah, I was not able to raise any money at all. So it was mostly for the, for the awareness factor of it. I don't think your hair was long enough to donate. Either. Yeah. And people were asking so. if I was donating it to locks of love. It was not long enough. Uh, locks of love, your hair has to be at least 12 to 14 inches long in order to donate. And I don't think my hair's been that long in like 10 years. <laughs> so it would, it would have taken way too long to grow it out. Um, but it actually ended up being better off this way, I think, because the more people who see me bald, they come up to me and they talk to me about it. And then I get to talk about why I shaved my head and all the awesome stuff. So, I mean, I think, you know, it's not really awesome. It's more like awareness. Thing. Yeah, I mean, awesome awareness. Awareness is awesome. I, uh, I mean, awareness is awesome, but like yeah. cancer sucks. No, cancer sucks. Yeah. But um, I mean, it's it's good because it's one thing to just like have one instance where you're raising a bunch of money and that's great and all. But when you shave your head continuously, like I have been, every time someone stops me, they learn about cancer, they learn about awareness, they learn about why it sucks. So it's, you know, it's my way of donating when I don't really have a whole lot of money or means of raising money. Okay. One so. of, uh, one of my coworkers, when I, like just today, actually, we were talking about, um, an article that I had read uh, a couple of days ago where they think they might've found like, a, I think you mentioned it too. They think they might've found like a, a cure all for cancer. But um, he was saying he had just heard recently that I guess they've been, unless it, it, it it's probably an April Fool's thing. Probably. But um, I he don't said trust they, anything I hear around <laughs> this time of the. He, he said they they had uh, nano machines that they which they do those things actually they do, do exist. Yeah. But he said it basically was the equivalent of like just a little robot with like egg beaters that would just beat the living dookies out of the <laughs> cell walls. <laughs> So you would take this little robot and like inject it into the, the cancerous area and it would just go and just bust up all of the cell walls Wow! and just destroy it. That'd be pretty awesome. I don't know if that's true. I don't know if that's real, but if it is, just sing. that'd be really cool. Um, and I mean, they're, it'd be they're like making... a video game. You're like, kill all the cells. <laughs> and they're making leaps and bounds every day. I mean, New drugs are constantly being developed. <laughs> new, new treatment methods are constantly being developed. <laughs> treatments. Um, you know, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> you're working on a lot of treatments for childhood cancer and all kinds of great stuff. So, you know, doing this, I mean, people, some people might think it doesn't do anything. It does. It does help. And raising money does help. Just make sure you're donating to the right organizations because some of them are only in it for themselves. Do your research. Okay, mm -hmm. this is a really, um, well, we'll, we'll, we'll pop by the hater. We'll, we'll pop by the, the guy who was sipping the hater aid. I think he deleted his comment um, because I couldn't find it, but basically he was a person who was bald by nature. And um, he was saying that I was, I guess, um, like I was doing a disservice to people who were naturally bald by shaving my head. And he said that, what? you know, I was, I was shaming bald people everywhere who wish they had hair. Like, oh God, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I had it written 
down somewhere because it was just too rich. Um, but, you know, I, I didn't do any of this to kind of point and laugh at bald people and be like, haha, look, I'm bald by choice. I mean, do I make jokes about that? Yeah, I like I see Rogaine commercials and I'm just like, I'm, I'm this way because I decided to be this way. Um, let me let me just throw this out there. Head hair is really only useful for retaining heat at this point. And even then, <laughs> like, like if you, if you go with a whole evolutionary thing, it, there's, we really actually could be a completely hairless species for the most part. I mean, eyebrows and eyelashes are good. Nose hair is good. Unless it sticks out, which really sucks. <laughs> just saying. Um, and like some other body parts I won't get into, like the hair is useful for, for redirecting like sweat and things like that. That's pretty much what your, your eyebrows do. Yeah. And then the, the nose hairs filter, they filter stuff or whatever. Stuff. There's hair like in your body too. Like but in, I mean, biologically. But we, ha we have no need for hair. There's no biological need for hair on your head. So I'm actually more advanced than all y'all <laughs> with like the big old like thing going on and nothing i mean nothing i've done is to <laughs> is to you know point and laugh at any bald people ever and you know so for the person who was sipping the haterade my husband's bald i love him bald i couldn't see him any other way but bald i happen to think bald is a i'm actually more bald here than on my butt <laughs> okay <laughs> wow <laughs> Um, so yeah, and you can't I mean, really see me because it's so shiny. It's just like, <laughs> and that brings me to. But it's a solar to, panel um, for a game machine. Another question <laughs> um, that I've actually gotten, which somebody asked if people ask me if I have cancer um, or if they mistake me for a cancer patient, and that's actually only happened once. It happened on Instagram. <laughs> um, someone asked me what kind of cancer I was fighting, and you know she took it really well. I was fully expecting her to be like, oh my god, you asshole, you're a cancer faker or whatever. Um, but no, she, she thought it was awesome. So uh, that's only happened to me once. Um, most people are pretty, uh, it's pretty obvious that I shave it myself. Like, I, I don't know. But that's only happened once. Let's see, really, really long comment from a lovely young lady. So not a question, but I just wanted to say how awesome you are. Oh, thank you. Promoting cancer research is a huge deal in my eyes. Cancer has affected me throughout my life through family members and people close to me getting it. Me too, girlfriend. And whenever I see someone raising awareness, I just want to thank them. On a different note, I've been wanting to shave my head again for a while now. I had it shaved about a year back in 2010, 2011 in high school. Oh, you're a baby, honey. Um, but Wait, a year ago? How long has it been since we've done this? Like, when were you supposed to record this? Like three months ago. Three months? <laughs> this is a while ago. Yeah, but this, that'd be like two years. Um, well, two or three. I just copy, I copy okay. pasted it how it was. But I'm kind of nervous too, since I'm getting married in six months. Basically, if it's not too nosy of me, what does your husband think of it? Yeah. So oh, what does my husband? And I actually have got. This is why I wanted to film this with you here. Um, oh. This I've gotten this question a lot. Like. Like one of the first things that people ask me uh, when they see that I've shaved my head is, what does your husband think of that? And for some people, it's a perfectly reason, like with that is a perfectly innocent question, but some people are like, doesn't your husband hate that? Like, doesn't he, doesn't he want you to have hair? And I'm like, uh, this is why I filmed this with you because there's a question directed at you. Uh, okay. So what do you think of the fact that I shaved my head? Um. I don't know. I mean, frankly, it's your body. Do it. Do you as you need it. That was a really yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I uh, I don't know. I mean, like, do what you want. I don't I don't care. It's, it it does make for funny things when you have like the gentleman yesterday who is just <laughs> like your son looks just like you. No, and this I guy. Over. Oh my over. god. We were getting Subway and this guy walks up to Justin and he says, your son looks just like you. And I kind of <laughs> put my head down real quick and kind of stifled a laugh. And he was like, no, for real, your son, like, that's your son, right? He, lo he looks just like you. Like you could be brother, you know, you could be brothers. And I was like, but I'm his wife. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, uh, that's my wife, bro. <laughs> And he was like, oh, I'm so sorry, but you look just alike. <laughs> that was so funny. I mean, it was really, I didn't want to embarrass 
the poor guy. But that actually has happened to me a few times um, with people mistaking me for a man. I mean, she um, she also didn't have makeup on at the time. She yeah. was wearing the hoodie she's rocking right now. So you can kind of... I, mean, I can understand that. Like, if someone... If I'm wearing a baggy hoodie and I've got no makeup on, yeah, I can understand someone mistaking me for a dude. And you hadn't talked either. So exactly. it's not like Exactly. And I hadn't said voice. anything. And it, But if you did, you should have been like... Oh, thank but you I've much. definitely had some people who've called me sir, and I was wearing my ass mm-hmm. was wearing a dress and a full face of makeup, and I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I mean, I guess different people, but hey, Five Eleven released the tactical kilt, <laughs> so you know, soon I'm gonna be the guy wearing the dress because Five Eleven's awesome. I'm not getting paid for this. Just saying, it's her channel. So anyway. Um, um, but anyway, so to, to continue on the original thing, um, I mean, like I said, as, as far as that is concerned, I really, she can do whatever she wants. Um, do I kind of miss the hair thing? Yeah, in a way. Um, there are some things that hair is useful for. I... <laughs> Just gonna throw it out there, <laughs> uh, you know, like styling and yeah. and shaping the face, shaping right? Frame in it. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, that. <laughs> but aside from that, like I said, I don't know. it's what else. I I got nothing. Yeah, I and I mean the way I see it, you know, anybody who would talk you down or somehow convince you away from doing something that is this important, that spreads this much awesome information, is really not worth being around. I mean, I have, I did really figure out who my real friends were after, um, and you figure that out after you do, like, extreme things like this, because some people will support you and some people won't, and the people who don't support you really don't need to be in your life. Period. End of story. So that's all the questions we have. Thank you to everybody who submitted questions for a bald person. Um, I'm watching the square on the screen follow my face. <laughs> It's like I detecting hope, me. I hope that our, our answers are satisfactory, but this video has gotten quite long. So we're going to go see if Elder Scrolls Online is back online yet. Uh, their it's servers, been down for like six hours. Yeah, their servers are down for maintenance, so I'm going to keep an eye on it. But thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!